I'm Jordan. Hi, I'm Bob Town. Today we're going to build the Mold King Military number 8 TV. Yeah, Moldy King. It's number, what number is it? 20017. 14 plus 617 pieces. 617, 20, pieces. 617 plus pieces. Does that mean there's more than 617? Yes. I think so. That's the front of the box. Back of the box. Back of the box. It's got some weird wheels. You got like Little round, tubes. yeah, tubey wheels. I'll show you if you hang around to the end. You'll see what they look like. I like it. It's 17.4 centimeters wide, 20.6 centimeters long, and 17.1 centimeters high. It's this big in um, American um, sizes. What do they call that? Imperial. Anyway, what it's that big in inches. Let's see what we get. In the box, we set. Controller! It's remote control. Bob Town. The wheels! Look at the wheels! There's the wheels one. are weird. There's 13 bags. That bag is just for the wheel. And this That's for, oh, must be two wheels and two wheels. Two wheels. Two yeah. Wheels. Um, you get a controller. You get some books. You get. You get stickers. stickers. Like Not many stickers, so that's good. I like the yellow on it. Jordan likes the yellow. The yellow you get a good. book on the battery. You get a book on the wheels by themselves, and, and you get, you a, get a little Bertha book, little <laughs> Bianca book. Well, what's the opposite of Bob? Bolly. Bolly. A Bolly book. Bolly book from Bobek and Bedron. It has 164 steps, which seems mm. small. Like, doesn't seem like a lot of steps considering how complex it is. Although it's maybe not that big. Um, anyway, it's a real car. It's based on some sort of military machine. But it's Russian made, adult size Tonka truck. Tonka? <laughs> has 44 horsepower. That's slow. Yeah, it's not a lot of horsepower. 8.2 foot turning radius. Mm -hmm. mm. What Let's should we build do? it! Let's build it? Yeah. Let's build it.
this is the Finnish Mold King military number ATV. Yeah, numbers in the title of the model for some reason. It looks cool. The wheels are cool. They're this unique. Little spin thing. Yeah, little rollers on each wheel. There's like nine rollers on and each wheel. And then the hub thingy that connects to them are cool. Yeah, it looks good. I like the colors. Some things I want to tell you about the actual build. In the book, when it shows you what pieces to use, the way they indicate the color of the brick is with a little box pointing to it saying that this is a black brick or this is a yellow um. brick. Um, it took me a few steps to realize what that was actually talking about. When you're building it, you empty numbered bags, like one to five, but you also got to empty all the, there's about three generic bags that you got to empty in and do. So you got to go through like bag one and all the generic bags at the same time, which is kind of weird. It has a roof rack. <laughs> has a roof rack thing. The sticker quality is better than I was expecting. It's not as good as Lego, but better than um, Robo Warrior there. Dude from Timu. Better quality than that. The brick quality is very similar to Lego. Again, not as good as Lego, but better than um, Robot Warrior. The robot Dude over there, make a deformation. I did have, and I'll show you now, a heap of bricks left. It's like, weird. like hubs, more than you would normally get in a Lego set. That is unusual and makes me think I've missed something. But I checked and I followed every step. So some key features, George. It has like headlights and then like these weird mirror things that have got yeah. white, like clear one, orange one, and then a red one. I don't know the if they're meant to be like mirrors. Blinkers, mirrors, mirrors with blinkers on them or. or Blinkers with mirrors on them, but yeah, they they move freely. Those non-symmetrical lights are actually like the truck. Put a picture of the truck there. But the yeah, like one of them three, and then one of them one three bits, and one of them. Two. That's how the truck is. The real truck. Hmm? It has a party trick though. What? It drives. You get a controller. You can stick like Lego joysticks in it to make it a joystick. Jordan, take control. Yeah. So what you do, turn is you turn it on under here. So this whole thing here is like the battery pack and it's not a Lego battery pack where you can put actual like AA or AAA batteries in it. It's rechargeable. So you press the button, turn it on. But it's like a omnidirectional vehicle. And the roller wheel, Please don't drive it off the table. The roller wheels are really cool. Uh, it's a unique thing. I don't think Lego would do that. So to give you an idea of scale, this is the 4x4 Extreme Lego set. I don't know what that means. It's a bit dusty. The wheel is about the same size. Well, it's actually a little bit bigger, but it's, it's like another third longer, and you can see it's higher. Then you've got the recent Audi e-tron. E uh, again, oh, so it's a little. The wheels are a little bit smaller uh, on the on the e-tron compared to the Mold King, uh, but it is longer. It's another probably another third longer as well. Let me know if you like the Mold King ATV military ATV in the comments below, and let me know if you want to see more Moldy Kings, Mold Kings. I'm not a fan of the name, but thanks for watching. See you next time. Boom boom. Three, two, one, go. And another book. Mini book. There's a separate book to build the wheels. Bob Town. Let's build it. Let's build it. Ding dong. <laughs> <laughs>